If you're looking for a simple homemade mouthwash using only water, baking soda, and some essential oils, then this video will show you how to make it. Having stinky breath is no fun. A typical store-bought mouthwash can leave you with a burning sensation in your mouth. This easy-to-make DIY mouthwash can help you control bad breath as well as leaving your mouth squeaky clean and minty fresh. The ingredients you're going to need are water, baking soda, essential oils, and a mason jar or any closed container will work. Start by adding one cup of warm water to a container that will allow for easy mixing. After that, add one teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda will perform the heavy lifting of the odor destruction. Lastly, add in essential oils, five drops tea tree oil and seven drops spearmint. The tea tree oil will also help to fight bad breath alongside the baking soda as it has antibacterial properties and will help to eliminate the smell-producing bacteria that's hiding in your mouth. As you may or may not know, tea tree oil does have a very strong scent. For this reason, using spearmint essential oil to help mask the tea tree oil will give your mouth that refreshing finish you're looking for. That being said, use whatever essential oils you enjoy the most and whatever amounts get you a mouthwash that you enjoy. Citrus essential oils might be another great option, just make sure they're okay to digest. Now place on the lid or break out your spoon and get mixing. A top tip is warm water helps everything to mix together a bit more evenly. You should only need a few quick shakes or stirs and you'll be ready to get to mouthwashing. Take a big mouthful and get swishing. Swish your freshly minted mouthwash for a minute before spitting. Repeat this ritual daily and you'll be well on your way to getting rid of that bad breath. Keep in mind this mouthwash is best to use within 24 hours. Also, the baking soda makes the mouthwash slightly grittier than the average mouthwash, and the tea tree oil does take a little getting used to, but the spearmint rounds things out nicely, creating a pleasant mouthwash. Overall, however, this homemade mouthwash works fantastically well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. I'm sure you'll enjoy our next video on how to use hydrogen peroxide for mouthwash. Thanks for watching and bye for now.